Bible is not. Well, this is Harlan, and I wanted to tell you a story today you'll never hear nobody else tell you. This life we're living here now is like an illusion. It's temporary. If you live for 80, 90, 100 years, become a millionaire, own property, own all kind of land, you're headed for the dust. No, there's no discharge in this Bible. God said the day that you eat it, you die. This is a temporary life. You're looking at a person that will be gone. I'm 78 years old. My body is a body of death. I have to fight against it. And soon it will be gone. Now, I want to tell you about the spiritual life. I'm one of the few men on earth that can tell you about the real spiritual life. Not many people can tell this. I'm the only one that tells it. Pay attention to this video and get this. For once in your life, get what we've got here on earth. Get this mystery. This is a mystery of God, and you must have it if you're going to live in the new world, and you're going to live under the control of Jesus Christ. I'm showing you that the Spirit has authority, not Bibles. Mm -hmm. The Spirit has authority. So now follow me on this and follow me real close and listen to what I tell you. What I'm telling you is people that's experienced this, and I've experienced it myself. I fell out in the Spirit one day in 1977, and a tunnel opened up in heaven. I seen over into the other side. I seen the stars. And Jesus spoke to me down through that tunnel. He said, my voice will be heard again. Mm -hmm. I fell out one day, went into a trance, and he spoke five words to me that changed my life and changed the lives of thousands. It said, the Bible is an idol. I didn't get that from this world. I got it from the other world. I'm in tune with the other world. I'm a new creature in God. I'm not controlled by Bibles. Mm -hmm. I'm controlled by the Holy Ghost. You've got to get this. You've got to be able to experience this. You're not born of just the earth, just the flesh. You're born of God. You'll return to your Creator. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. You'll stand before God for the deeds done in your body. You must be regenerated by the Holy Ghost. Now watch what I'm going to tell you, and you'll learn something today. Now what does that say, Miss Puckin? When Peter was come to himself. What does that mean, Peter come to himself? <laughs> huh? He woke up. <laughs> now think about this. Just think this simple truth. Think simple truth like this dumb cornbread eating hillbilly teaches you. Plain truth. Jesus told me to speak plainly, speak sincerely, and tell it in words. I don't use big egotistical words, indubitably and all these things. I teach you plain words. When Peter came to himself, Peter was laying in prison. They was going to do him in like they'd done James in. Mm -hmm. And he was laying chained up or between some uh, guards. A light shined in the prison. Now think about this light that shined in the prison. Here come a member of his family. <laughs> From <laughs> the get, other world. <laughs> to get him. Come From to get him. The, From the kingdom of God. And I had him come get me. I know what I can feel it when he come and got it. A light shined in the prison. And something hit him on the side and said, Peter. Mm -hmm. Gird on your garments and put on your sandals. And when Peter stood up, the chains fell off his hand. <laughs> this was from the other world. This was a light from the other world. Mm -hmm. This was life that only God can give you. You don't get this from a Bible. Mm -hmm. A Bible didn't come in the prison and tell Peter to gird on your clothes. And Peter, you know what Peter thought? Just like me, an old dumb human, he thought he was seeing a vision. Right. Didn't even know it was real. Mm -hmm. Come in, went, he come up to the gates, and the gates opened. <laughs> See this angel? You don't know how old this angel is. You don't know if he eats or sleeps or what. You don't know nothing about your other world. The other world is the eternal world. This is the temporary world. That's right. This is temporary. Here, Peter was living in the temple. Peter said, I must put off this tabernacle. You know what Peter done? When he's out in the street and the angel left him, he looked around. You know what he said? He said, now, now I know. Now I know of a surety. God has sent his angel and delivered me. Yeah. Jesus sent his angel. So where's our kingdom at? It's not here in this temporary world. Our kingdom is with Jesus. I'm not of this world. You must get this mystery. If you don't, you'll miss it all. You need to come to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Come to yourself. Come this on. is not yourself. No. Yourself is on the invisible part. And if you come to yourself after you leave your body and all you knew was your flesh, then you're going to be lost in the spirit realm. Now one day, after Jesus was resurrected, and think about a man coming back from the dead with holes in him, 
talking to you. Now think about that. These two men was walking down the road to Emmaus. What did he say? And their eyes were opened. And they met a man on the road to Emmaus. And they said, are you, are you not from Jerusalem? Not heard all these things that's happened around here? How we thought that this Jesus was going to tell. And Jesus expounded to them all the things about history. And told them what would happen. That he'd be raised from the dead. And they didn't even know it was him. His, their eyes was holding. He couldn't see him. They, who he was. When he got to the place where they lived. They had him to come in. And when they broke bread with him. All of a sudden their eyes was open. <laughs> They said, didn't our hearts burn within us? <laughs> they was the talking. Man. <laughs> yeah, they was talking to a man from the other side. A man had been before God, made his body an offering for us. So we could get back over there. Now we're back over there, children. You got to get this. We're, we're home. We, we got angels that watch us over us. You're living in a temporal world. Get over here with this hillbilly and experience these things with God. Our bodies haven't been... Um, made new yet these bodies will go to the dust and we'll get a new body and so we we have we're temporarily stuck in this realm but we have access to god through the spirit but we're new creatures that's right and mary said to him rabboni <laughs> master mary, mary is the first one found him she loved him with all of her heart she found him even before he had appeared uh, to the father yes. he said don't touch me he didn't want no sinner even though mary was a good person he didn't want no sinner touching him before he went before god he said, don't touch me. And she thought he was the gardener. See, she was living in, in the, the second dimension. Right. All of a sudden, right. huh? all of a sudden she's in the first dimension. <laughs> she said, Rabboni, that means master. You're still alive. You're still here. She ran and told the disciples. Guess what? They didn't even believe it. They ran out to the tomb. This man's alive. We have a living God. We're connected back up. We're connected to God. We're part of God. She said, Rabboni, he's still alive. He's alive today. He's talked to me. Appeared to my bed and told me, call my name, said, I'm going to deliver you. Like I deliver. I live in him. I walk in him. I talk in him. He's my savior. I'm not of this world. I'm a new creature. You've got to get this mystery. These things are real. You don't get this from a Bible. And you don't get it from just claiming it from other people's words from history. It's a real thing. It's a real dimension. It's a real relationship with God. Bible worshippers can't stand me telling this. No, because they're left out. Peter fell into a trance. He didn't fall into the Bible. He fell into a trance. And what did he see? He seen his sheep come down with all kind of animals in it. Peter was talking to Jesus, a man from the other side. Jesus was sending Gentiles, and Peter didn't like Gentiles. <laughs> he didn't like us very much. He said, it's unlawful for me to even be here. But Jesus spoke to him in a trance. Why didn't he speak to him just like this? Because this is the second dimension. If Peter went into the first dimension, he went in where we fell out of. Our, our father Adam walked naked, didn't even have no shame, walked naked in the garden and walked and talked with God. Had an aura about him like an angel. He was in his angelical part. I live in my angelical part. You do it. You can do it. Fall in a trance. I fell in a trance and the Lord said, the Bible is an idol. The Bible is an idol. He told me I was in the spirit like John was and he said, the Bible is the mark of the beast. He tells me truth. Okay. And you can't put yourself in a vision or make Jesus appear to you. But Peter was praying. He made himself available to Jesus. And Jesus decided to show up, and he did. You can put yourself in a trance, and that helps good. But when God wants to speak to you, he'll put you in a trance. Yeah. Putting yourself in a trance won't give you a vision. Yeah. Paul fell into a trance. Peter and Paul fell. It's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. Amen. People don't like to hear that. Most Bible people don't even know that's in there. You know why? Because preachers will not preach it to them. Mm -hmm. They won't tell it to them. Peter fell into a trance. Paul fell into a trance. How? Because they connected up with the other world. Mm -hmm. Jesus spoke to them. We have access to God by the Spirit. You don't have access to God by the Bible. The Bible is just history. It keeps you cut off from Him if your faith is in this. Your faith has to be in the living Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave his life so we could have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what regenerates us. It's what reconciles us, and it's what gives us access to God. Now, how did I get the foundation teachings? You wrote them in you. John was in the Spirit. I was in the Spirit, and God wrote the foundation teachings in my heart. And I taught them to you. They're on the video. So John was in the Spirit, and he went into his world. That's the eternal world. Into his kingdom, the kingdom of God. The kingdom yes. that 
All those filled with the Holy Spirit are part of Jesus' kingdom. Without the Spirit, you're not of His and you're not part of His kingdom, no matter how many verses you claim from the Bible. This is the temporary world, you see. You can't get into this world with a book. You get into this world by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of the living God. John seen the Father on the throne, seen the angels, seen what would happen from His day to the end time. And so we have a life in God. Experience it. It's there for you. Jesus bought it for you. Listen to this dumb hillbilly and you'll learn how to get home. Delving along, not knowing right from wrong. At the taste of hate was on my face. I was Satan's child, served him all the while. Then the love of God took his place. Walking.